we building about the creatures that, you know, uh, Satan, Shaitan, lighter shade of tan, or whatever, or Lucifer, or whatever opposite the name that he created to come in and study the life on this plane. The life on this plane is right above the plane that's beneath us. Now, it's important to know the cosmology and how the universe right here in this realm on this plane gets down. You know, it resets itself according to thought and feeling and love and vibes. So once the people start dropping in consciousness they start dropping in in ages so they start off at like the golden age it's like a baby and then you drop down to silver age bronze and then you get uh, iron age so we understood these these cycles and lived these cycles 25,000 years and so once we figured that out we was able to map out different times map out the stars map out the cosmos, constellations, things of that nature, just learning ourselves from the inside, like we normally, nat we naturally do, just individually. You're just learning yourself. Everything is reflected back to you, is a part of you. You just can't grasp it on this little finite level. That's why you gotta go to rest at night and reset and go build in the in the realm that you need to but this is where the also the war is at because the war is on it's not only in the physical realm it's in the mental realms it's in the dream realms it's in all these realms so this is where you got to be tight fit and a fruit diet with semen retention is the highest and only way especially dealing with the woolly haired people that must be in between the tropical cancer and tropical capricorn the ones coming from america or america or mexum to get to your environment. We, we used to come up to uh, subtropic environments because it was fun, you know? And then we go back and have our forever summer, maybe experience a few winters here and there. But I've experienced, you know, 35 winters. So in the spiritualness uh and school of that, some people are just stuck into that realm. It's a spiritual realm. You learn things about yourself and your shadow self way more, it's in depth. Some people are stuck in their shadow self, you know, and those and in, in, in that type of environment, you have to be in winter at least six months out the year. You know what I mean? Some people say nine, but it's six months, you know, with two, two months of spring, two months of summer, two months of fall. It gets cold after that. And that's the winter where everybody else would experience what we we'll call winter. It's like, yeah, that's cold. So anyhow, though, you learn things. And so if you're in a place where you're just constantly outside and you got options of bodies just running around, you become numb to that, used to it. So, you know what I mean? Just, I guess uh, releasing yourself, releasing your seed is something natural. And this also can be the same way even with living in, in the cold environment, especially where I was in. You can be by yourself a lot and release a lot. <laughs> you can do all it because you're in the cold. It's cold. You don't go outside. You're watching shit. You, learn, you may not even be learning things about yourself. You know, learning your talents that, you know, you was you came in here with. Learning your, your natal chart, which you did last, last cycle, last life. Some people don't even want to believe or make things to be true. Some people don't even want to study. They're just different students in the game, you know. They can't bad, they can't see this type of um, information or foresight right here. So they'll be stuck in the 3D realm, working eight hours, getting the money. Or doing whatever it takes to get the money with people's faces on it. <laughs> it's like, you know. Yeah, so with the semen retention, that is very powerful in manifesting things. You know, it's why you get a lot of child stars, you know, kids who probably was, you know, you know, shot brutally sometimes it, when they was younger, they survived due to a lot of you know, life force saved up in them. Some of them started early and wasn't going to survive because they losing their life force or wasn't able to produce testosterone or their life force uh, quick enough. You know, um, just depending on the, the, the vastness of the, or severity of it. But yeah, um, semen or your seed, both they go hand in hand. 
Now you can lock your semen down real smooth. You don't have to be thinking about self equality or sex all the time, especially with different people. You will just learn to acknowledge. You'll realize you're at a young boy stage where you can just acknowledge like, damn, she got some nice legs. Or, ooh, man, you see that? She got a, ooh, she got a ass. We'll say a booty. Look at that booty. They just be walking with their little with their little booties, just walking with their little stingers and shit. You know, but you can admire that. You can admire certain things on them. You don't have to be talking bad. You ain't got to be lusting for them and shit. You know what I'm saying? You you just admire it and keep it moving. They're like a flower. You like a bee, shit. <laughs> you know, if she choose to allow you to come close and see what her nectar is, you know what I mean? Then that's cool. If it's a one that is always like that, then you know that's not your main one. Unless you just want to be in your low self and and learn that karmic experience, or it could be a twin teaching you an experience, teaching you that lesson. To learn how to let go at times, you know, it's just all kind of stuff. So yeah, but the semen, you know, it transfers to the woman once you release it. You know, she, some of them caught on to this, man. Like they don't just, uh, <laughs> they just they, at first they're like, I don't swallow, and you know what I'm saying. And after a while, you see them pretty face ones. You be like, you have a pretty face one. Yeah, some of them like that, they either have it on the face because they understand that this is a living thing that they cannot even produce. They, they can't they can't produce. So now they're caught up in, you know, a lot of wisdoms, a lot of women is caught up in the mainstream stuff like we produce the baby and da 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 da. And it's like, damn, really? And so they even say they got a semen gland. For real? You produce this? Like this? Hmm. You know what I mean? So, and they tell you, it's a batharloin gland and all these different things, you know? But we know they, what they do produce. And they'd say, oh, it's two million eggs. You mean she said she had two million periods in her whole life? When she's born, she's born with two million eggs, she's gonna have two million periods? I mean, you, you have two million periods from the age of, sometimes you start at eight, all the way to 58, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I mean, we just listen to these people too much, man. And so when you have semen retention, you that shit you, it shoots up into your brain. You, you're you're a man. You you think now. You're like, hmm, that ain't even right. You just got a common sense that you was born with, cause you're a representative of the Most High. Don't matter what nobody tell you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the family of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, woman, and child. But that man is like, he has to be on point when it comes to his self mastery. And the woman can hide no deception in that. But once she sees that he's on that point, on that path, and she's right, she's going to get down with it. But, you know, if a person who just wants to go from person to person, and you're dealing with a woman going person to person, or you releasing going to person to person, then you never have a chance to store your kundalini and see how powerful you truly are. So, yeah. Um, and we knew how powerful we were. They had to break us like that. You know what I'm saying? They gave, they had to stand niggas in the middle of the village and shit and fuck them and make them come in the ass and shit like make them this is like that's how powerful we, we knew we were so we wasn't even gonna um we wasn't even gonna what you call it shit <laughs> we wasn't even gonna release and we, we were still powerful even when the planets weren't in the favor because all this coincides that's why you gotta go know the cosmology now they'll tell us that you know Pluto is three billion miles away. Three billion? <laughs> Damn. How y'all know that? You know what I'm saying? For y'all to say that y'all to say that NASA say they went to the moon and give a report to say, oh, but they can't even get past the Van Allen belt. And everybody study and see how far the Van Allen belt is away from Earth. <laughs> Tell me, and they made how many missions? You know what I mean? So once we don't let that cloud our vision, you know what I you know what I'm saying? That we'll be able to raise up in vibration without really listening to them. It's like a relationship, a narcissistic relationship. And how you get your power back is by saving your motherfucking self. And saving your saving your light and raising it up. And once you do that, it's uh it's lights out for them. Because the time is now and it's always been now. But you wasn't going to do it then because you'd be going against the word of the Most High. You wasn't going to be able to master yourself then. That's why some of our teachers came, they got murdered, but they left valuable information behind to show you who who God is, who Most High Self is. Because we've seen it through calendars. We see the word and the hand of God through time 
over the length of calendars like the different calendars like at the long count the short count we already figured this out we figured out how to put ourselves in sleep and preserve our, our physical body to a point where it doesn't age as much when we're in home uh when we're resting or what they call it um I don't know if it's called homeostasis or not, but but when you're in that rest mode, they know, you know what I'm saying? We already done figured all this stuff out. They know that we have, they know, we seem, all this do semen retention. You know what I'm saying? They know that this is like, we're all over the world. <laughs> we're all over the world, man. I'm talking about in the, between the tropical cancer and tropical Capricorn, for sure. And they know they're sleeping giants around. Who mastered this? And they know that the majority of woolly-haired people have this science and knowledge that um, that is in their DNA, genetically. And I, and they know all it takes is for the right souls to be born into that gene to get the right experiences that will cause them to wake up and do it the way and, and, and set life the way it's supposed to be. Or add on to the cipher with their greatness. And with their gifts that they got from the Most High, because the Most High is pretty much Allah, and everybody don't like to say oh, Allah is in it. Allah is this all? Law. It's all Allah put together. Yeah, karma, all that. It's just they're talking. You just pay attention, and you can see in here. There's only one. It's only one being. Even if he is parasites, and even if it is a, a kind of a kind of harmful bacteria, even good and also good bacteria. The thing is, is that Mosai likes to challenge itself and make itself better. So anything that's weak has to go. The divine doesn't like anything weak. And that's then that and that's sad that, that sometimes when you see when you feel for someone and they can't get past a certain stage or even yourself, it's like, ah, oh, because you don't want to be held back. But if the most I see you got that intent, you're trying to learn. Learn and master, it'll be a certain thing that allow you to master. So then you can go on and master something else that you're that we that he knows you're good in, or that he knows that you're good in. We always personify objects, anyways. You know what I'm saying to explain nature. We've been doing this since the beginning of the time. We use either insects, animals, persons. You know, even names sometimes to personify. The natural and the supernatural. So this ain't nothing new to us. All you got to do is just learn to save your seed. Tap into your power. You know, everybody else can do it. But there's sub-races right now. The one with the woolly hair is the original race of the earth. And if it's not the original race of the earth. It's a you. It's a extraterrestrial from somewhere else. But every time the cycle has different has different life forms that live out their ages anyways. And it gets replanted over and over after each seven cycles. So these these are the breaks. So yeah, semen retention is important. You can reach up and grab information and awareness on your own. You ain't even gotta read somebody else's understanding too much no more. You can, but you know what I'm saying? You begin you 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 start appreciating the knowledge that you get from the divine. It's your downloads. It's where you at. But you gotta be in the right places and, the, and the, be in the right frame of thought and the right vibes to get them. You know, following people. You can you can have manifested with someone, but for the ones who know that they can build with someone and also go by themselves or deal on their own, but also, you know, be a team player too. Those are, those are the ones that build up on me. You know what I'm saying? That's the one I'm talking to. But, you know, anyone else who gets the cream, whoever, if it's you listening right now, you got the cream, that's just what it is. All right, so I love y'all. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're getting down and you're practicing it, more love, y'all. I support you a thousand, hundred million, billion, gazillion percent. You know what I mean? Because we can talk like real men and noble men. You know, and have honor for sure once that develops. Because we know how hard it takes, how hard it is to have that self mastery. But once you do, man, you good to go. Yeah. Why you think you get mad every time you let loose? You're like, damn. Because you ain't supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, that's why. 
Alright, I love y'all. Stay tuned. If you haven't already, you better subscribe. Peace.